As you guys can tell by the video, I'm gonna be basing Rohan Thomas in a best of seven, more like best of four, because I'm gonna win four in a row, of out of obliteration, Pen God versus Junior Pen God. And just so happens to be, guess who's holding the camera right now? Introduce yourself. The new Pen God Rohan Thomas! Okay, Woo! okay, okay, okay. The new Pen God. I like that. I like the confidence because I tell everyone, uh, you gotta be confident in yourself. So I love that the Junior Pen God is learning. Uh, actually, Myrtle is the junior pen god. But if you're watching this, you suck anyways, so you're demoted now to the pen disciple. So, Rohan Thomas, the new pen, pen, we'll say junior pen god, is recording this. While I showcase to you guys the perfection 60 card list, the exact card per card list I'm going to use in the best of seven match. I'm going to destroy him, and then you're going to explain how I'm going to do it, and which, how I'm going to put up the negates and everything. So, with that being said, make sure to subscribe to Trip Gaming. Let's get to 13,000. 13,000 subscribers. Make sure to check out Game Nation, our, our lovely sponsor. And let's get right into the video, guys. 60 card perfection. Three of Doctor. Three Chronograph. Three Cerberus. Three Razor. <laughs> 12. These are the 12 turbo cards I play. You need to play as many turbo cards as possible, no matter what, to ensure every single hand's amazing. Well, it's very similar to the DDD one I play, except I took out the DDs and I made a lot of very important adjustments. There's more turbo cards, by the way. So we're playing 60. So we also have all these. So this is how many turbo cards you play in the deck. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21. 21, uh, did I do 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Abductor, there's 30 spells in this deck. Abductor straight up literally says add any monster you want to the deck, which is basically gonna add chronograph the majority of the time or dark orb depending on the situation if you draw a pen call. Also on dark orb, it's a pseudo turbo card. You play 11 cards like Dragon Ravine or, or Terraforming or triple pen call, triple... I'm talking too fast. Hopefully you guys can stick with the Pen God brain. Triple Pen Call, Triple Dose Alliance to send this to Grave to bring it up for a turbo card. It's a pseudo turbo card. 21 real turbo cards, 3 24 pseudo turbo cards. You need to see these. If you draw one of these 21, or one of these 20, 24 in conjunction with others, so one of these 21, I'll, I'll call these half turbo cards, so 22 and a half. So there's 22 and a half turbo cards in the deck. Draw one of these 22 and a half turbo cards, and you literally win the duel. Draw one of these... And any, any cards in your hand, it equals five negates. Next, the three Dark Worm and the one gate zero. You don't need to play two because you win after going first and going second. You just want to uh, not draw, you don't want to see too many of those. And it's good to draw a late game uh, just to have more gate zeros, but I prefer the consistency of it. I know it's 60 cards, but if you look at all these cards so far, we went through 25 cards so far. They're all consistent, at, like the best cards you want to see in your deck, right? Next, two Jacko, which you have to play. Next. Zephyr Nui. Hey, Trip. why are you playing a Zephyr card in your deck? This is actually the only Zephyr card alongside this trap. And let me tell you guys the new game plan here. I take out the DDs for this engine in itself. Instead of sending Kepler, Electrum sends one thing and one thing only. Zephyr Nui. Unless you banish it with Desire, which is all good. You banish it, and you literally pen summon it, and you get a free negate. And then you link this away anyways into the, the PK card to get two more free negates in the Fog Blades. So that's the new game plan. Literally, Electro, this, and any random dark, doesn't matter its level, turns into these three. The Harmonizing turns into uh, any one card interruption, the Jackal, the other. So you're typically going to have this, and then the, the uh, Dragster, or whatever. And even a decent enough hand, you can end on this, Dragster, and a Vortex, or a Void Ogre, etc., etc. But I'm going to explain more of it later. Zephyr Nui is insane. You need to play it, even if you're not playing this version. Every single person that plays Pendulums in the world, including Rohan Thomas, is going to be playing this card after I showcase the, the power of this card. And I play no other Zephyr cards. They suck. It just Electrum sends yeah. this. To Pendulum summon it to get a free negate for nothing. Like it's a, Since when does some, some, sending out something with Electrum and linking away with it for free turn into a free negate? You only get a free negate for nothing. Next, the, the Magicians. Before, I played much a much smaller count, but... After testing, I realized that magicians are absolutely necessary in terms of uh, having uh, the utility of the magicians and having scales. I used to play two harmonizing. That's just stupid. Uh, three for sure. Three wisdom eyes. Now, wisdom eye you need for the scales. If you draw wisdom in hand, you have these 12 on top of the three chronograph, which gets gazer, ensuring you're going to have uh, scales no matter what. So even if you get hand trapped, your electrum gets hand trapped, this gets that, that gets that, you always have, have uh, ha uh, scales no matter what. Now, you only need one of each of these, that's it. Janky is not necessary, I don't care for Vortex whatsoever. In fact, I don't even like going into Vortex. I like saving it late game. Uh, when they don't see out of nowhere, you'll have the Vortex in their top decking, you'll auto win. I only play one of the Dragon Pit, because you need it for the any back row deck. One of each of these, 
That's all you need. Anything more I do not agree with. One oath, because honestly, I do not even like the, I don't like any of these magicians. They brick too much. I do want, not want to see magicians in my head. I just want to see one or two. And with six pen call, you want the opportunity to get as much as you want. And I, even I'm debating right now playing triple harmonizing and like three magicians and then six pen calls. Just that, the only reason the magicians are here is because of harmonizing and wisdom. And the one card that no one in the world knows is this. What? Yeah, so this card's insane. Uh, if you draw it, random or whatever, going inside you just clear an interruption. But this is way better than Jake, and here's why. Uh, harmonizing bringing out a time breaker is a million times better than bringing out a janky. I don't care for Vortex. I care for Synchro 7s. I don't care for uh, Absolute Place. Uh, I, want, I always want another level 3. I want a Dragster no matter what. No matter what. Or a Meteor Burst, whatever. I always want a level 3 no matter what. A lot of the times, time gauge is gone because of various reasons. You always want... I prefer a second level 3 in the deck as opposed to a second uh, level 7 in the deck. With a, I prefer Synchro 7s over Absolute Place instantly. And its utility is actually insane against, like, it takes care of uh, Colossus, etc., etc. Next, the cards that uh, are absolutely insane that everyone also needs to play. Two PKs. So, plain and simple, after you pen summon, you get these two Fog Blades for free. And you need, instead of playing one Boots, because you simply send the Boots, add this, right? So you get two free Fog Blades. A lot of the times you send this, add this, and then you special summon it because Rusty's a PK. And if you have the Destrudo in the grave, which we also play... Because uh, you play a, a triple full, triple Dragon Shrine, five Dragon Ravines. A lot of times you already have the Dark Worm. So having a Destrudo as well is fantastic. You get literally a free negate. Like a completely free negate out of nowhere on top of the two Fog Blades. So Rusty actually turns into double Fog Blade and a Dragster. Like for one for one car, one generic Link 3, which is absolutely like insane. And it does not break. Drawing these is fantastic. Because you want outlets for your discard cards. The five Dragon Ravines and the six Pendulum Calls, you want... Outlets to you want something to discard with. Pen call Dark Worm feels great for a reason because when you pen call one of these, it feels even greater. So, always ensure uh, having one of these in conjunction with one of the discard cards is incredible. Just a free plus one. And lastly, we play Mirror Mirror because going second, we go Yazi and it ensures we have a bunch of cards that are amazing going first in the deck. As you notice, the most of the negates from the deck uh, happen in the deck. It's not like you have to hard draw an Avion for or, or Jackal for the negate. Uh, most of them, where's our Zephyr card? Uh, where are you at, bro? Other than my hand, every single time, uh, not sent. I always, like, hard draw that card, but where is it? Zephyr, where are you? Okay, so these cards stay in the deck. It's a 60-card deck. You are not drawing these, bro. You are not drawing these. So, this is where the negates come from going second. You are not drawing these. It's a 60-card deck. Even if you do draw them, you have a negate in itself. But you send these off random stuff from the deck, getting three free negates that are not even on the field, uh, leaving you space to actually summon. And this is also in your deck, leaving you, like, uh, free Nightmare plays and Link plays with Yazi and Destrudo. Uh, I literally opened this like two, three times in a row <laughs> testing the other day in my opening hand out of 60. And you can't punch some of this. It has to be summoned by a fact of a war monster, so that sucks. Anyways, it's uh, like those Link stuff are amazing because they're in your deck. You know what I mean? Like, you don't got to pull them out. They're in your deck. It offers you an insane utility. And the reason why you don't brick are the five Dragon Ravines discarding what you consider a brick. And then triple pen call and triple alliance. You have 11 discard outlets. You never have a dead hand. Ever. Ever. You just discard the dead card. And you're level 3 amazing cards. Next, triple desires. Uh, desires, obviously, you play a bunch of one of, so it sucks to banish them. But you play five different edges in the deck. So who cares what you banish? Because there's so many different lines of play that if you banish one, if I banish, for example, a fog blade, if I banish a Zephra, your line of play is just going to be different. That's all. You're just going to go through your gates the, the traditional way with extra deck as opposed to the traps. So even if you manage them, it doesn't matter. Having that consistency and extra draws are extremely important. Three of Lords, because literally the entire deck is dark, literally. Upstar Goblin, because consistency in a 60 card deck. No, I, that's actually just a meme. I'm playing it just literally for the meme. Playing it, I'm sorry, the 60 card deck is hilarious. And sometimes it does help with Abductor. But for a random draw for nothing, it is literally for the jokes of it. I, I don't actually play it, but just for fun of it, I play it. Just for, just for shits and games. And then one up for Divine Strike and then two Fog Blades and that's 60. I will change absolutely nothing. This deck's perfection. I absolutely love it. I love it. I'll kiss it. I'll make love to it. I love that deck. One sec. One sec. My girl's calling. Hello? No. Fuck off. I'd rather play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's literally how much I love my deck. I prefer staring and kissing on my Yu-Gi-Oh cards than my girl. I hope she doesn't. Oh, wait. She watches my videos. I lied. Okay. Not really. I don't. You're annoying. Anyways. <laughs> uh, next. Priorities, bro. Electro. Obviously. Next. The way you go into the Rusty. So, Electro. You pen Zephra. And you pen the Dark. Electrum and the Dark, or Electrum and the Zephyr, after you get the free negate, go into Underclock. Underclock and the Random Dark go into uh, Rusty. 
So you get the free three interruptions, cause, and then you get, then you actually do your normal plays, like Jackal, uh, Dragster, off the Harmonizing, and then the Distrudo, because you get, if you have Distrudo, you're great for free, because if you draw, you have nine ways to send it to great 10, actually, if you hard draw it. So if you get it for free, you literally just add the boots, special, get the free Distrudo. That's how you get the six negates. If you draw one of your 10 ways to go into Distrudo. And then we have the Yazi package, where it's like a bunch of Nightmares and Yazi. These are literally just, for, if I don't play Yazi, I'm not playing these. I play one Phoenix, but you can go into them for free. And then one of each Boral, after you go in, after your first turn, five, six, the gate board, it turns into a link deck. Link dot deck. Like literally just, you link play, you get rid of their stuff, and you Boral their stuff. And Yazi, like it's incredible. Uh, they don't see it coming, there's too much utility. In terms of extra deck, it's Tornado and Evil Storm Nightmare. Uh, side Dweller, I think. Absolute and Vortex. I don't even like these. I'm literally taking these. I want to take these out. I actually do not like them at all. Forcing a dragon. I. There was. Okay. Long story short, I played a bunch of testing today. Uh, I did not put Dragon Pit in the deck, and I lost. The games that I lost are because I don't have the Dragon Pit in the deck. Since I put Dragon Pit in the deck, it was remarkable, and I actually make these. But without Dragon Pit, I'm not playing Janky because it's garbage. And what do you need it for? Decks that play light cards, light, light cards suck. What do you want it for? Trick stars? You don't need more help for that deck. Otherwise, I'll take them out to add more link cards for the plays. Now, Synchro 7s, because a lot of it is revolved around Synchro 7s, is a, a Dragster and a Yazi. Going first, you Dragster them. Going second, you Yazi them. And they don't expect Yazi coming, so you literally obliterate them. After you Yazi their whole field away, you literally just pen five and uh, look at their faces, they cry. Last card in the extra deck is Void Ogre. Uh, insane. Holy crap. You want, already have Fog Blades in terms of, in terms of uh, monster negations and jackals, so the deck needs more spell and trap interruptions. There's a board I put up in testing. I didn't even open it that good. I'm not joking. No, it wasn't Vortex. It was something else. I think it was. No, it was Vortex. It was three, literally three spell and trap negates on board, plus these two, plus a Zephyr. I had four spell and trap negates. I forgot who I played. Actually, I think... Uh, they, I actually, I don't know, because they just scooped in and like, went away or some shit, but there was four spell and trap negates. This isn't going to happen all the time. This happens when you have chronograph and scale, and the pseudo, and you don't activate the chronograph effect, and then I have the PK link somewhere. Yeah, here. And then you, right? yeah. yeah, and then you get the, then you get Gazer as well. So it's like, this was the board, and it's not super hard to do, I'm telling you. It just, you have to not desire any of these. Uh, you have to awesome. not desire the chronograph, have chronograph in the scale, and have Gazer come out, and the pseudo come out, yeah, and yeah. Boots, like, obviously you're not always going to have this. The typical one is this. This is the typical one, with the PK link over here. This is the typical board. And side deck, three cherries, three ash, two ogre. Going second, these are incredible. I want to play more. I want to play three, 12 of them. Every level three tutor in the game. Because your opponent, you play Yazi. So even if you open doubles, you just literally pen summon it. Even going first or not bad. I might even main deck a build with 12 hand cards main deck. All the ghost cards. Because you pencil summon them and just go dragster at the end. Uh, and going first, it's both... Uh, Offensive and defensive, because when you already get the three free negates off the traps, you need spell and trap negates. You absolutely need them. If you have the double fog blade and the Zephra, uh, no other spell and trap negate, it might not be enough. If you have two spell and trap negates and the two fog blade, it's auto win. So that's the hand trap count. We play two even. Uh, next, we play two uh, Ranga tops, two evenly, two reboot. This is for every single deck that plays back row, and also the utility allows me to play these four in any decks that play mo like monster negates as well. But I would prefer to play, the, like, these are mainly for back row. You don't want to sign too much, right? Ideally, I might take out even leaves for two more hand traps, but I'm not sure yet. And lastly, I'm going to sold it, because just for the cherries. And I don't care about Saryuja FTK, because after lots of testing, my rating on Dueling Book with Saryuja FTK is, like, uh, 5 and 5. My rating on Dueling Book with Pendulums is almost undefeated. Like, my, my oh, rating with, kids. my rating with, uh, with, I guess I usually have to get, without, without misplaying, it is too much luck sack. Like, if I get, if they luck sack me and if I don't hit the danger, it's fine. But out of five cards, uh, oh, danger Nessie? Okay, you hit something else. Okay, danger Bigfoot? Oh, I hit Bigfoot. Like, if you hit one card early on, in the early game, the deck's dead. You can't do anything. But if you, uh, if they can get everything early game, they'll get that decay. So I don't need to sign it, so you just for that. There's not enough space. That's the deck. That's the main deck. That's actually, that's the victory, victorious deck. It's going to go 4-0 in this battle of the gods. I mean, the god and the demigod. But we're going to see how it goes. So stay tuned, guys. All right? This is video number two. You guys seen the deck list of Rohan? It's a pretty good deck. I'll give it to him. It's a solid deck. It'll destroy Sky Striker. It'll destroy Thunder Dragon. It'll destroy all the garbage decks out there. But it's not going to destroy the greatest deck out there, which is mine. This is the second video. In the next video, we're going to sh showcase in the Rohan vs. Pen God battle. It's going to be duel number one. What's going to happen? Let us know in the comments below who you guys got. And if you guys weren't paying attention to the first one, loser eats the, uh, their own Electromite. 
I'm not eating my own electromite. <laughs> Rohan's gonna eat his electromite. Yeah, right, and we're gonna catch it all on video. The loser of this eats their own electromite live on video and does an apology video for the other, proclaiming the brilliance of their pendulum prowess live on camera for you guys. Hope you like the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out Game Nation, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.